With a government announcement last week that Koreans returning from overseas trips will not face mandatory seven-day quarantine, more tourists are expected to travel to popular vacation spots like Guam. The new policy goes into effect April 1st, but GVB country manager Jay Park says there won't be an immediate surge in arrivals because of the limited supply of airline seats, although no less than six Korean carriers are now scrambling for government approval of their service. The, all the airlines are uh, considering Guam is the top priority destination, and um, they are planning to increase their and um, expand our direct flight from Korea to Guam. So we are in now a much better in, uh, situation now compared to previous couple of years. In fact, he points to the recent approval of Busan Air for direct flights from Busan beginning in mid-April. In the meantime, GVB officials are also working their contacts. GVB Korea marketing manager Colleen Cabeto. We're going to be going out there uh, first week of April to uh, meet with our airline partners and our travel trade partners to uh, ensure that we, we try to get um, additional seats and also try to meet with the ministry to, um, to buy for additional um, seat capacity. So it makes it more convenient uh, for the visitors to book their flight to Guam. And Park says Guam has a lot going for it when it comes to what is now the top priority for travelers, a destination's health and hygiene status. I feel like we can take some more market share from that Southeast Asian countries uh, traveling market. So, yeah, again, uh, safety is the one of the top priority, uh, you know, consideration for the travelers. So we have the big potential. Returning Korean residents will still be required to have negative COVID test results. But GVB says as an added incentive, GovGuam will be offering outbound passengers free PCR tests. For KOAM News, I'm Nestor Lakanto.